the ESA team are searching for Bronze Age archaeology at Paris Mountain. 120 feet underground, Dave Wagstaff has led Katie and Alice to the Grand Stoke Chamber. We're almost there. This is it. This is the lead up to the Grand Stoke itself. The team have to climb this pile of loose rocks to reach the ceiling of the chamber. This is a 19th century chamber filled with huge mountains of waste rubble or spoil. When the chamber was dug out using explosives and sledgehammers, a strange debris-filled passage was found in the ceiling. Could this be a Bronze Age mine? So let me get this straight. We're going up and digging above this. Mm -hmm. So if it starts to fall through, we cut out our rainy exits. That's right. <laughs> so very careful digging. Very careful, very careful digging. digging. No vibrations, no hammering. It's mm. a bit like that game when you're, you're pulling out straws and trying not... Yeah, this is what is that game called with the marbles on top? Kaplunk. 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 So let's get the harnesses on. And away we go. The first aid kit. Some water. A little pick. There we go, Gene Wells. Now I'll do that, but. That's what's holding up. Okay, I won't step on that. Passageway. Then. So don't step on it. Mike and Trevor have rigged the rope to make sure as little weight as possible is put on the rubble. So I can't step down here. Well, just be very gentle. Okay. This is very really hard work. <laughs> Once you get past this really soft crumbly stuff you can start using your hand on the left side as well. Okay. I think the rope's got really um, muddy. Mud, yeah. It's really problem. hard to move. If you step your right foot over and under, over the top of the rope. Okay. Okay, start to take a little bit more care with that rock in front of you now. Step round to your left. Step round to my left, there's nowhere to put my feet. <laughs> Okay, all well done, Kay. Let's go up. Let's go up. In the ceiling of the 19th century chamber, there appears to be an older, partially filled tunnel. No, it's because of the... Ah, uh, it's whole yeah. stuff. It's covered in snot like. Ay, ay, ay. Where's that stain? God, I've got, actually got to take off the slime before I see the archaeology. That is disgusting. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. No. It's really disgusting. You're on a slate. It's like some kind of alien growth. Oh, uh, that's foul. Ah, uh, it's really slimy. See? So what's that roof up, up above you? What's it's, that? It's spoil from above. It's come down and compacted. This is the 20th, uh, 19th century 19th stuff. Century this is solid. Here. Okay. And they found this. And okay. It's obviously already been dug out in the vein of it. Okay, so I, I think so we should. Um, you need to get in there. We can the clean thing. that up, and then um, if we can get some carbon 14 dates from the very bottom of it, then that will help us date when it was actually dug in the Bronze Age. Katie, this is upside down archaeology. <laughs> this is upside down archaeology. Are we pretty sure that digging upwards isn't going to release? Long? I think the best thing to do is. Um, just clean up the base of this section because we haven't got very much time. You've got a right. How much time have we got? You have an hour and a half maximum. Right. Because of the wet and cold conditions, the team can't spend more than That's four hours one. underground at one stretch. They still have to make the journey back, and the last place you want to get hypothermia is 120 feet underground. While Katie and Alice get stuck in at the stoke, I wanted to find out how acidic the water in the mine really is. Here we go. Just 2.02 pH. <laughs> That's not far off battery acid range, is it? 
in terms of the guy who's fallen into it, they'd have some yeah, skin do, irritation. Have your eyes. Yeah. If you ingested any, yeah. it'd be pretty unpleasant. The 3D map of the mine is coming together. You see this line coming straight through oh, here? Yeah. Right there. That, in fact, is the bottom of the bell pit line coming C. straight through. Meg is piecing together her Cyrax images, while David is entering his old maps into the system. Okay. And I think it's probably the same as this orange one here. Okay. Now what we can do is we can bring in the route that we've just digitized into the GIS. Right, and see what, that, that's, that's tremendous, yes. This way you can just yeah, choose the spin optimum. Spin it around, turn things yeah, on and off. choose the optimum orientation. Yeah, so Enlarge, that's... reduce. Together, they will form a 3D model of the mine system at Paris Mountain that will help us plot a route through to the second mine, Mona. Back at the stoke, Katie's through the slime and has just found a hammerstone, an ancient miner's tool. That's the hammerstone, I think, there. Oh, right. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of wood here. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm just cleaning up the section so that we can see how all the sediments have formed and there's some beautiful bits of wood sticking out as well so I'm going to try and clean those back and get samples because so, then we can get a COM14 date out of here. Right. Sometimes these, wood, these pieces of wood have markings on them as well and if it's part of a tool it would be absolutely fantastic. The early Bronze Age saw the population of Britain reach a quarter of a million people. A ruling class emerged as settlements expanded and a new breed of specialists learned to extract metal from the earth to produce bronze jewellery, tools and weapons. This was the first industrial revolution in the history of Britain. OK, you've got an hour and ten minutes, Katie, before we've got to start making our way out of here. Hour and ten minutes? God. I'm going to have my work cut out. That's what we've got, I'm afraid. Yeah. Safety, safety. That's a hefty bit of wood. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, that's great. It's unusual to find a piece that size. Oh! Jeez, what was that? Uh, oh. That was something from the ceiling? Yeah. You're going to have to be really quick. Fine. We have one hour, girls, before we have to get you out of here. Katie's got to draw the section on her laptop before they leave. Technology. We're still, we're still with uh, civilization. So across and down, Alice. 67 across and 6 down. 52 across yep. and 0 down. Okay. So we've got about ten minutes. It's going to be really difficult to get out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that very quickly. Yeah. You got the bag, Alice? Yes. Just, I've got cling film at the ready. There it is. Oil feels like it's going. Okay. Katie, can you not get the hammer stone out? Mike, I'm going to clear out the way yeah, just in case so. you need to get out quickly. Yeah, Go on, yeah, you've got yeah. it. You've got it. Yeah. Hammer stone. Hammer stone. Alice? Yeah. Take this. Fantastic. Okay? Yeah. Clear. Yeah, that's it. 
made it. Oh, that was phenomenal. We got in, got out in an hour and a half, two hours. The actual archaeology part of it. We'll close the door on it for another night. Meg's survey and Dave Jenkins' old maps have finally been brought together. The 3D model of the mine system is complete. We can now plot a route through to the possible third Bronze Age site in Mona Mine, which is marked on a mine surveyor's map from 1764. And it will help us find the best way to get the team out if it all goes wrong. We've had to think seriously about this trip. You know, a couple of times we thought about calling it off yeah. because we just don't know the condition of all the shafts and all the, all the passageways. Yeah. Um, and there's a suspicion that it's a lot worse than what we've been experiencing on the stope. The thing that I have to ask really is, is it really worth risking yourselves to go in? Oh, well, I think it's just an absolutely fantastic opportunity. I mean, if, if you think about it, these timbers really aren't going to last that much longer, are they? That's so, right. Yeah. A lot of airflow around them now. Once you get that air mixed together, then the wood starts to dry out okay. rapidly. Yeah, okay. and and I, I mean, if we find some uh, Bronze Age archaeology, it'd be absolutely fantastic. And it'll be first, yeah, all right. Yeah. It's fine for me. Let's get an early uh, shower. Great. Good.